Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So I am so uh, tickled to live in a community, my hometown, where on any given Friday night at a Mazda dealership on a <laughs> calm commercial street, somebody's going to set a wooden ban on fire. <laughs> so a life lived without regret is likely a life unlived. Um, and it is good that we can occasionally put some of those things behind us. So the symbolism of all of this this evening, I think, is significant for a wide variety of reasons. Um, there are lots of reasons to let go of lots of things um, and to remember that, uh, that uh, nature put eyes in the front of our melons so we don't have to spend a lot of time looking back. We can look forward and we can look forward to great things. So I'm happy to be here tonight. I also want to congratulate um, the folks at Mama Load. You know, Elkie and Dory are entrepreneurs and there's so much of that spirit in our community. These are folks who uh, want to uh, want to do well but also do good. So as we stand here, Courtney, on a cold evening and celebrate um, this event, remember that there's Mother's Day Eve, which began in Missoula and now happens around our great nation. And I wouldn't be too surprised if a bunch of wooden vans uh, start catching on fire in various communities around the United States as well, all because of Mama Load. And one more shout out to Shannon Flanagan, another entrepreneur, another Missoulian who's doing good uh, by, um, by participating in events just like this. I, um, I will be taking the chocolate machine home um, <laughs> this evening, and I would recommend all of you take some door prize. Shannon had offered a car to everyone tonight, if I understand that. There's a nominal fee will be involved, is my understanding. But uh, put, put, uh, put your troubles in that van, ladies and gentlemen, and light the damn thing on fire.